Track racing has a lot of cool game modes, level design and the all round feel to the game itself. The game has a single player mode where you can race against bots on lots of different maps ranging from very easy to really difficult. In single player you can change the difficulty of the bots that you are facing or turn them off altogether. The game also comes with a split screen mode so you and your friend can play on the same computer using the WASD keys and the arrow keys. The game also has lots of different cards to collect which you can unlock using medals you earn in the game. You could change the look of your car by changing the car's skin. In track racing, you can even create your own racetrack using the level editor provided. It is very easy to use and even has a tutorials on YouTube. If you like to keep track on how the game is progressing in the development side of things, they have a Facebook page to keep in contact with the community and in the game there is a news section to keep you updated to what is being developed. The game even has achievements that you can earn and has a leveling system which the icons looks like they came from StarCraft 2's ranking system. But the multiplayer is where this game really shines. There's more game modes in multiplayer than in single player and it is just a whole ton of fun. Pursuit. This game mode makes it so that you can either be a cop or a bandit and basically the cops have to ram their cars into the bandits cars to destroy them. It's like a game of cat and mouse and at the end of the game it becomes a crazy thing. One little mouse running away from lots of cats. The bandits win by staying alive for a given time and the cops win by destroying all the bandits. Race! As you can guess by the name, this game mode puts you up against other people on a map and the person who can get the fastest time around the track is the winner. But when I first started to play I thought it would be more of a head to head kind of race, like in a single player, where of course the line first wins. But that isn't the case here. To be honest I don't like this kind of race and after a while I got a bit bored of going around the same track time and time again trying to get a better time that will put me at the top of the leaderboard. User. This game mode puts you and other players on a user made map that was designed using the level editor provided. And basically you race around them just for a bit of fun. Some are great and others need some improvements. Deathmatch. It's the best game mode of them all. You're put into a map in your car with weapons and it is your job to destroy the other players. You're given the machine gun, a flamethrower and a freeze weapon. This mode is the funnest and the, the most exciting. On a map with lots of people shooting each other, it's just awesome. You have Nitro in Deathmatch which you can use to make a quick escape. Nitro runs out quickly but you gain Nitro by hitting your opponent. The weapons are well designed and well executed. The, the machine gun does lots of damage, shoots fast and the bullets take time to hit the target so you have to aim ahead of the targets if the target is moving. The flamethrower has a wide area of damage and does damage over time. The freeze weapon however is overpowered. One hit freezes your opponent for a short time but in that short time you can kill your opponent with a machine gun very easily. To counter this they made it so that it can't shoot behind you unlike the machine gun and the flamethrower. Capture the flag. On the web version it is currently disabled, probably under maintenance, but on the downloadable version it is playable, but it needs work. The maps are really bad, some are probably user made, and I hope when it starts back up it won't disappoint. Well no, this game is definitely worth trying out, it has fast paced action and it's free. Some things need to be updated like the race mode and capture the flag, but that won't stop you from having fun. Track racing is a free, fun game to play with your friends, it has a stable foundation to grow and get better and has a variety of game modes to play. That is all from me today and I'll see you all in the next video, bye bye!